Hey guys, Bloody Wheels here. Today we are here with the newest pistol offering from Palmetto State Armory, and that is the PSA Dagger. This is a 9mm Glock 19 Gen 3 clone. I just recently did an unboxing uh, video here recently, and if you'd like to check that out, go check out my channel and see that video. Today we're talking about mag sleeves and the ones I designed for this pistol here when using the bigger magazines. Many of you already know this pistol comes with one 15 round flush fit magazine from Magpul. 15 round. Let's go ahead and safety check this firearm and she is clear. Yes, it takes Glock mags because that is a Glock mag. Uh, it is not Glock brand, but once again, that is Magpul PMAG 15 rounds. It will also take all the, the, uh, the Glock 17 mags and probably some larger ones as well. But the 15 we're gonna, not gonna need right now, but it takes the Glock 17 mags. We're gonna go through a few of them before I show you the sleeve I design. This magazine here is also the Magpul P Mag, and this is a 17 round magazine. Of course, you can already see the gap left over by using the longer magazine. So a sleeve would be necessary. Well, not necessary, you don't need it, but it's, make it, it's gonna make it look a whole lot better and feel a lot better in your hands. So that's the Magpul magazine. This is the Glock brand. Glock 17 Gen 4 magazine. And that's how it looks in your firearm and same gap there. This here is the Glock brand G17 Gen 5 magazine. The only difference being the follower color and the base plate is a little bit different design there to go with the flow of the Gen 5 pistols. Let's see, we have here a KCI magazine these are very very cheap magazines but there's a lot of people picking these up i think i picked these up for like seven bucks a piece 17 round and there's the gap left over and buy that one and finally the magazine left that i have is the ets magazine this happens to be a translucent blue because they were out of the red i wanted the red but i ended up with blue you know it really doesn't matter but this is 17 round ets and there's the gap left over by that magazine there. So yeah, you can see we're gonna start with the Magpul there and go back with that. A lot of people are using the Magpul magazines because they're very cheap and very reliable, I have found. You can find these for about 10 bucks a piece if you buy maybe 10 at a time, which is very, very cheap for magazines nowadays. And that is 17 round, and once again, you can see the gap left over by using the longer magazine. So I found it necessary, and that's the reason I purchased this pistol is specifically to offer mag sleeves for this pistol. And many of you who are new to this channel, if you're not subscribed, that's what I do at Bloody Wheels, and the website is bloodywheelsusa.com. I offer mag sleeves for a host of different budget type pistols like Taurus and uh, Sky and the Canic slash Jonic pistols. I just recently picked up this pistol here to offer sleeves for it because some of the budget pistols, the market's not as heavy for it. So I like to offer products for those pistols who don't have a lot of products for it out there. But this is the sleeve here. And right away we see the inscription on the side, DGR for dagger. And on the reverse side, G17. So I know it belongs to the 17 round magazines because maybe I'll offer a few different sleeves for maybe some of the, the bigger magazines. I think they've got 25s and 32s out there. So this is the sleeve here. It's gonna be just like my other offerings. You're gonna sit it right on top of the magazine and slide it all the way down to it rest on the base plate. Now, the fit and finish is gonna be a little different between magazines. There's some are gonna fit a little looser, some a little tighter. So I made one sleeve to fit all of them, the ones that you see here in this video, which we're gonna go over more of that here in a minute, but they're not so loose, they're just gonna slide down like some sleeves that you see. It's gonna be on their right uh, very nice. And let's go ahead and insert it into the pistol and there you go. This is what it's going to look like. Let's go all the way around it. Side view. Let's get the rear portion here. The other side and finally the front. A very, very good looking sleeve if I may say so myself. Now I decided to, as you can see the undercut there, let me go ahead and put the uh, 15 round back in. There's many people who didn't like that uh, PSA put that high cut in there. The reason they put it in there, according to them, is if your magazine gets jammed in, you have some, some way to get your fingers in there and rip that magazine out if you would have to do that. 
I don't find it necessary when using larger magazines. Due to having more real estate here, if your magazine gets jammed, now you've got a, a lot more uh, real estate here to yank that thing out if you need to. So I decided to fill that cut in and I think it looks phenomenal. I really like the looks of this gun. So this once again is the Magpul P-Mag 17 round magazine and these sleeves are only going to fit that I know of on the magazines I'm going to show you here. It may fit more, I just can't confirm that because I do not have any more of those magazines. Now if you change the base plate on any of these magazines, that is on you. You may have to do some filing, some modifications, I do not know. Base plates change measurements. So keep that in mind if you've got a different plus two, plus three, or whatever base plate on them. They're only designed to fit the base plates that come on these magazines. So that is the Magpul P-Mag 17 round. We're going to go with the Glock Gen 4 17 round magazine. This fits a little bit tighter being a Glock mag. And that's how it's going to look. Same look as the previous magazine. That is the Glock Gen 4. Let's try the Gen 5. Once again, the only difference between those two mags is the follower color and the base plate design is a little bit different, but the sleeve kind of goes with it fairly decent too. That's what it's going to look like on the Gen 5 mag. Let's see, what's the next one here? We have the cheap KCI magazines. I don't know how many of you are liking these magazines or if you're using them, what kind of reliability you're getting out of them. But they have a similar Glock build where they have a polymer magazine with a metal insert. Comment down below if you like the KCI. I have no interest in that company. I'm just wondering for as cheap as those mags are if you're liking them. Good tight fit on that magazine too. And that's how it's going to look on the KCI version. Oop, got a little dirt there. And finally, let's follow up with the translucent, uh, what was that called? ETS, yeah, ETS magazine. Translucent blue. And that's how it fits on that one. Got a little, just a titch more gap on that magazine. Like I said, some of the base plates are just a little bit different between all of them, but it still fits very nicely. I think most people are probably going to be using the P-Mags, just like I mentioned before, just because of the cost. The Glock mag right now is going to cost you about 25 bucks, which to me is fairly, fairly cheap compared to some other manufacturers out there. But P-Mags, I think I bought a 10-pack a few months ago and it was 100 bucks, 10 bucks a piece. I mean, that's cheap for a 9mm double stack magazine and very reliable too. So let's get one more look there. It completes the look of the gun. I'm not going to oversell my product here, but I was really, really uh, impressed and satisfied the way it came out and how this gun looked. I mean, you don't need the sleeve for a full size hand grip. Depends on how big your hands are. I mean, if you've got catcher's mitt size hands, which I don't, you may be needing that extra grip down there. I do not know, but I find myself not needing it. I have size large hands. Not meaning I have large hands, I'm not saying that like some of the other YouTubers out there, but size large so you get a good representation of what it looks like. Good grip for me, so my pinky's not going to hit down there, but it completes the look. A lot of you are uh, really focused on aesthetics, so you do not like the look of a magazine just sticking out there. It needs that gap field. So now you have that option at bloodywheelsusa.com. The link to that website will be in the video description below. So please check that out if you're interested in this product or any products that I offer on there. Like I said, I've got a host of different products, sleeves for pistols, I've got magazine loaders, I've got some AR-15 stuff. So check that out if you get a chance. Let's go one more time, give you another good look of this sleeve on that Magpul 17 round magazine. These sleeves will not fit on any other magazines other than what's shown here, confirmed. And if you get a larger capacity magazine, it's probably not going to work. Only for the magazines that I've showed here until I get my hands on a few other types. Let's go ahead and get another look all the way around it. Yeah, the magazine kind of sits off to the side, but kind of flows with the pistol very nicely. And I'm glad I decided to fill that slot up there. I think just coming across here wouldn't look as good. And I think most of you are going to be more happy 
with me filling that slot up there. Once again, because I don't think you need it when using an extra or an extended magazine. You've got more than enough room here to, to yank that booger out as opposed to a flush fit magazine like, uh, like the Glock one here with a smaller base plate than the Magpul. Well, I need to do a 15 round to give you a real good representation, but the uh, Glock mags have a, a narrower uh, base plate. So that gives you a little more room to yank it out. But uh, yeah, I decided to go ahead and fill it in. And I think most of you are gonna be thrilled that I decided to do that. These are for sale right now on my website. Once again, bloodywheelsusa.com. So come get yours today. All right, appreciate you watching guys. Have a good day.